Hello. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you doing today? Uh, very, very tired. Oh I my God. Very, very tired. <laughs> I imagine. Yeah. Yes, so, teacher. Did you work today? Uh, did you work today? Um, can I get it, teacher? Excuse me. Did you work? Did you work today? Yes. 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 <laughs> oh my God. How many? How many hours? One, two, three, or eight hours? Uh, uh, na, um, nine. Nine, like nine, nine hours. Nine yeah. hours. I see. Yes. I, como diría, estoy cubriendo a una compañera. I am, co I am covering a co-worker. I, I am co covering. I am covering. A co-worker. A co-worker uh, for um, sick. Ella se enfermó. She is sick. Oh, she is sick. Uh -huh. Yes. Oh my goodness. I imagine. So you have a lot of work. Hay mucho trabajo. Hello, hello work. work. My yes. goodness, I imagine. Yes, okay, teacher. it's good to see you. Hi, Darwin, Miguel, and Ada. Me too, teacher. Good nice. Evening. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Hello, good evening. How are you doing today? Fine, teacher. Fine, teacher. Fine. All right. It's good to know. It's good to see you after the weekend. All right. How was, so tell me, how was your day? How was your day? Was good. So, so, how was your day? Oh, excellent day. You had an excellent day, very good. But how about you, Miguel? Very tired. A very tiring day, oh my goodness. Yes. Ingada, how was your day? Teacher, how, how do you Sorry? say, cansada? I am tired. I am tired. Teacher. Oh my goodness, I am. I imagine Angela is tired too, she's saying. Me too, Adita. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Hi, Jancy. <laughs> it's good to see you. Hi, teacher. Hello. Jancy took vacation last week. <laughs> first, that was a first vacation. <laughs> All right, but it's good to see you today. Hello, Sulma. Hi, good evening. Good evening, how are you? I'm fine. Oh, nice, it's good to see you. So we have Mayra had her camera on. Hi, Mayra, are you driving? Yes, teacher, I'm driving. Yeah, I, I can see darkness. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's fine. That just have your camera, I mean, have the, stay connected, okay? Please. Okay, okay, yeah, okay while, teacher. While you get home. Okay, so I can see the others are connecting. Hi, Joanna. Hi, teacher. Hello, I didn't see you the last class on Friday. Yeah, I, I'm sorry. I. I didn't attend the last class because I'm going to my house. Very late, I imagine. Yeah. Oh my God. Oh, okay, but it's good to see you today. Ah, we didn't see Margarita either. Margarita is not connected. I didn't see, oh, Jan. Good evening, connected. teacher. Good evening. Oh, it's just connected, I'm sorry. All right. Yes. yes. I didn't see Margarita the last class on Friday. Uh, Yes, teacher. Today I came back to work because yeah. I did sick last week. Oh my goodness! And, uh, but now um, I am feel I good and I am healthy. Oh, nice! Very good. I like it. So today so you feel you I, feel better. Yes, I nice. better. Very good. So it's good to see you then. Um, healthy. Thanks, okay, of course. All right, let me see. Yeah, we have Michelle and Rosa and Osmin too connected. So welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. So let's start. So let me pass the attendance quickly then. 
Let's see Ada. Present teacher. Adriana. Present teacher. Very good. Ana Michelle. Present. Angela. Present teacher. Darwin. Present teacher. Very good. Flor. She's not connected yet, right? Gloria. Joanna. Present teacher. Very good. Lourdes. Present. Great. Mayra. Present teacher. Margarita. Margarita. I'm here. Okay, okay. Miguel. Present. Nelson. I saw Nelson connected. He's connected. Present teacher. Okay, Sorry. very good. No, it's okay, no problem. Ophelia. Here teacher. Osmin. Present teacher, here. Very good. Rafael. Rosa. Present. Sandra. Present teacher. All right. Jansi. Present. Very good. Sulma. Here. Asalia. Ingrid. <coughs> and Susana. All right, very good. Uh, so everybody, so welcome to, to this class, Monday, right? First day of the of the week, but third day of the week of class, right? Of, of course, okay? So just remember that on Wednesday before, on Wednesday before the session, you need to have week number one ready on the platform, okay? So please, 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 I hope you're working the platform, okay? Siempre recuerden que El miércoles, antes de la sesión, deben tener lista la sección 1, section 1, on the platform, okay? So please, stay working, all right? So uh, so I want to say welcome everyone again, and for today, we are going to study some, some very important things, of course, and I just have a question for you. Uh, do you remember if you attended class on Friday? Do you remember uh, what we studied on Friday? What did we study on Friday? Yes, teacher. What do you remember, Adriana? The adjective comparative. Exactly. We studied the comparative adjective. adjective. Okay. Yeah. We studied comparative adjectives. What else? Conjunctions. Conjunctions. What kind of conjunctions? conjunctions. Yes, conjunctions. We studied conjunctions. Coordinating. Conjunctions, right? Uh, do you remember the conjunctions we studied? For. For, yeah, what else? Um, and. And. and nor, nor. 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 But. Nor, but your, so, yet. So, yet. And we have, we have studied so. seven. And so, right? So, I, I see this. Mm, no, but neither was not the con either was not the conjunction. Either was the the synonym or the purpose. It was another one. Okay, so you are missing, I guess, for I mean, or sorry, you didn't say or. You only say nor. Okay, so we also have or. Okay, we started the preposition or. Another question about the, the, the conjunctions. Um, what is important when we use conjunctions? These conjunctions, coordinating conjunctions, what is important? Um, or, oh. The use of comma. Exactly. The use of a comma before the conjunction, okay? Yeah? So I, for example, imagine I say, uh, it's only one example, okay? Um, Mar Margarita was very sick on Friday. Mar Margarita was very sick on Friday. So she didn't attend English class. So she didn't attend English class. So I need a comma before so, right? Margarita was very sick on Friday, comma. So she didn't attend the class or the English class. 
So basically, we need a comma before conjunctions, okay? When we are connecting two sentences, so that's important, okay? I, and I am explaining this again because we have an activity about this in this moment, okay? <laughs> so just let me share very quickly. So if you didn't attend classes, uh, we have the prepositions here and we have examples, okay? Um, so basically, uh, we have the preposition for, the meaning is because Sam drank some water, for he was thirsty. So the meaning of for in this case is because Sam no tomó agua, uh, for he was not thirsty, porque no tenía sed, no estaba sediento. So for in this case is because. Okay, and I take the milk and sugar in my tea, and right? Nor, nor we said that the meaning of nor is me in Spanish. Sara doesn't like apples, nor does she like pears, okay? A Sara no le gustan las manzanas, ni las peras, ni las peras, right? And I said that after nor, we use an auxiliary verb. After nor, we use an auxiliary Verb, ok. Les decía que después de la, pre, de, la, de la conjunction nor, usamos un verbo auxiliar, ok. Imagine, imagine the example is in past. For example, imagine I say, Sara didn't like apples. Sara didn't like apples, ok. Nor, I would say here, como el auxiliar para el pasado es el did, en vez de decir das, voy a decir did. Como necesitamos, necesitamos un auxiliar, ok? So, I will say, Sara didn't like apples, nor did she like pears in past, right? Ok? So, siempre va un auxiliar aquí. We have an auxiliary verb, ok? Very good. So, let's continue. The next one is, but. All the children wanted to eat pizza, but no one wanted to buy it. But is, pero, o sin embargo. Or is O oh, in Spanish. We could go to a zoo or we could go to a theme park. Two options, all right? Podríamos ir a un zoológico o podríamos ir a un parque temático, I think, okay? Good. The next one, but, all right? Here. I mean, jet, sorry. Jet. The meaning of jet is but. It's the same of, of the other one, okay? Es lo mismo de acá. Solo que esta se puede decir jet de otra forma. The weather was cold and wet, yet we enjoy very much. El clima estaba frío y húmedo, ¿ok? Aún así, o podríamos decir pero, disfrutamos mucho. Yet, we enjoy very much. And the last one is so. And the meaning is, in Spanish, así que. He is sick, so he is not going to the school. Él está enfermo, así que no irá o no va a ir a la escuela, ¿ok? So we have the, 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 the conjunctions for, and, nor, but, or, yet, and, so. All right. I think everybody make, made a screenshot of this one, right? Creo que, la, creo que hicieron una captura de esta, de esta diapositiva. Yes? yes. Everyone did? Yes. Yes, all right, that's excellent. So listen. Uh, to start the class, we are going to have a very different activity, which is a writing activity, okay? So the idea in this moment is that we work in groups. And in the groups, okay, you are going to write one example for each preposition. One example for and, one example for but, for yet, for all the, prep for all the conjunctions, sorry, not prepositions, conjunctions, okay? Yeah? Is that okay? Is that clear? Yes. 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 Okay. Teacher. That's pretty good. Don't please don't forget the comma. Don't forget the comma, please, before the conjunctions. Okay. Yeah. All right. So let's go to work then. I am going to give you like ten or fifteen minutes because I know that writing is not very very easy. Okay. All right. So we are going to make groups of four approximately.
Hello, Susana. Hello, Susana. Hi, good evening. Hello, good evening. In this moment, uh, we are going to complete a writing activity. So I will send you to a group because the activity is in groups, okay? Okay, okay. okay. Let you. me send you to a group. Angela, you haven't accepted. You didn't accept the invitation to go to the, to the group. The first. Mm -hmm. Okay. First. Okay. Ah, me... who, who is One who is great? Of... Hmm? I write. I write the exercise. Or oh, somebody else write the exercise. Mm. We podemos, ¿cómo se dice? We can. You can. Uh, we can. We can uh, write sentence for uh, for. Uh, cada cada conjunctions. Uh -huh. Every every conjunction. Mm -hmm. Yes. No. Don't let me let me create a new file. So uh, me, me, me. For uh, no, ah, the uh, student more. Come on. The, Let me, let me, let me. Oh. Uh, said, I'm going to attend the meeting, so no problem. Are you sure? Oh. I'm I'm going oh to school. attend the meeting. So no I problem. Going to... First is the conjunction for, okay? Um so creo que Ada la está haciendo con en, ¿verdad? En, ¿es verdad, Ada? No. Es cuando la conjunción con junction en. No. I think she's using so. So. Who's first? I take notes. Repeat, Ada, Ada, please. I'm going to attend the meeting, so no problem. Going. I'm going. Do you see I'm my screen? I'm going to attend. I'm going to. Attend. I'm going to attend the meeting. Attend the meeting. Attend the meeting. So, no problem. So, to attend. Uh, you make you, I make. Ah, yes. Uh -huh. to, I, I'm going to attend the attend. 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 I'm attend. going to attend the meeting. The meeting. Uh -huh. so, coma. So, coma. So, no, so no problem. problem. So, no problem. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh -huh. Yo iré okay. a atender la reunión, así que no hay problema. Okay. Mm -hmm. I just have no a falta algo, no, teacher. Yeah, the thing is that when mm -hmm. we use, we said that we put the comma when we are connecting sentences, and no problem is not a sentence. Because a sentence to be a sentence ah. needs a verb. Mm -hmm. Yeah, needs a verb. A sentence to be a sentence ah, okay. needs a verb. Ah, so. so you can give to another another meeting. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, that's a sentence. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you can go to another. So you can go to another meeting. Another activity. Uh -huh. mm. So you can understand the. <laughs> Yo voy a atender la reunión para, o sea, para entender. No, así que, así el so así. es, así que, esa debería ser el, la no, traducción no. del so. Así que tú puedes ir a, no sé, a otra parte Ajá, o puedes, puedes ir. ir a almorzar. Tú you, te puedes ir. So you sea, can go to, tú, to lunch. So you can go. To, to have lunch. Or you can or you can change. You you could easily say mm -hmm. I am not going to attend the meeting. So you can you can go, for example. I am not going to attend the meeting, so you can go. Yo no voy a ir a la reunión, así que tú puedes ir. Así que Podría ser, go. pero uh -huh. hasta go. Uh -huh. So you yeah. stop in go. So you can go. So you can go. Uh -huh. Hasta ahí. Ah, okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. Second, uh, who have the second? The second, somebody you, you, uh, how can I say? You can say, um. Yeah, my, my, my car my car is green nor blue my car mm. my car is is no, green because after no after yes yeah, after no we have to use an auxiliary we have to use those um, maybe my my car <laughs> mm. My car doesn't. Mm. My car doesn't. My car doesn't. We can say my car doesn't, teacher? No. No, isn't. Isn't, no. Okay. We, but we need to, to use does. Not necessary. It depends on the tense because if it's past, you can use did. Did, if it's, okay. If it's uh -huh. with the verb to be, you need to use the verb to be, like okay. in question form, okay? Okay. But we, we have. For, for to example, use... you can say, my car is not blue, nor is it black. Nor? Nor is, is it. Nor is it black. My car it's not necessarily, is not, uh -huh. it's not necessarily the auxiliary. No, in this case, the auxiliary is is, remember. Because ah, when you ask okay. a question with the verb to be, you say, is it black? Yes, it so the auxiliary black. is is in this case, yeah. Ah, okay. so, so you can say, okay. uh, the car isn't blue, nor is it black. Mi carro no es ah. azul, ni tampoco ah. es ah, okay. negro, mm -hmm. okay? Yeah. Okay. My car is My car is not my car is not blue, My, nor yes. is black. Nor is it. Nor is, is it, it black. Is, is it, uh, nor is it black. No es blanco ni, ni, ni negro. Ni tampoco es negro, ni tampoco es negro, correctamente. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. My car isn't blue, nor is it black. Yeah. Okay. Okay. With but. The number okay. for but. Yes, but but shows contract. I uh, just something something important. Yeah. Remember that the idea when you put the comma is that you are connecting two sentences, okay? Okay. Uh for example, Rafael's uh idea, he said my car is not white nor blue. What, what was the example at uh -huh, the beginning? Yeah. <laughs> Can you repeat it, please, Rafael? Uh -huh, Rafa. Can you repeat the example you had, Rafa? We be uh, my oh, car. Yeah. Okay, my car 
isn't green, green nor blue. Nor blue. Okay, okay. Listen to this carefully. Nor blue. Is blue a sentence? Blue. Is it a sentence? No, right? No. no. So on the second part, you need a sentence to put the comma, okay? So that's important here. Ah, okay. okay. Yeah. In, okay. in a sentence, to be a sentence needs a verb. If you don't have a verb, it's not a sentence, okay? Yeah? Okay. That's important here. Okay, continue. Okay. Okay, now it's bad, excuse me. Now, okay. But, um, but, but, yeah, but, pero, yeah. Oh, I, can I say I will like, okay. I want to watch TV, coma, no me acuerdo cómo se dice, com, creo, but I have to attend my English class. Coma, it's okay, you say coma in English. Comma. Ah, okay, coma. Coma, but I have to attend it my English class. class. Okay. Uh, or. 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 Uh, when you use the when you use the conjunction, the conjunction or, you are like having two options. Okay. Mm -hmm. it's like two options. Okay. One, op yes. one option and then the other option, and you connect the two options using. For example, uh, my brother is Team Avengers or Team DC Comics. Can you repeat it, please? Uh, my brother is Team Avengers or Team DC Comics. No, but, but that's like... That's fair. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah I, I get your point, but, but that's more mostly like a, like a question. And it, that maybe in this case, it's better to use and because... Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, the options here are different, okay? Maybe uh, I can say, right? Um, you could visit the doctor or you could go to buy medicine, for example, right? To, to, for you to have a better idea, you can go to the doctor or you can go to buy some medicine, all right? Just to give you one idea, but I, I, but I know you will have a different idea, okay? Oh, podría ser como... I um my sister cooks uh my dinner or my sister buy my dinner. Cocina mi com mi cena o la compra. Porque son dos opciones. Mm, I, I feel here maybe you need to use something else. Maybe you can use an auxiliary, uh, a modal verb. You can use can or could, maybe. Can or could. Ser, Using the same example, okay? Podría ser, or, I want apple or carrot for the dinner. That's okay. The example is okay. But in this case, you use no commas. Ah, okay. Because you are not going to, because the second part is not a sentence, okay? It's a phrase. In this case, the example is okay, Joanna, but no commas are necessary. Okay. Yeah. What is the example? I want. Apple. Or carrot. Zanahoria. For the dinner. I don't understand. I want apple or carrot for the dinner. Mm. Okay. No se escucha. Yes, 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 we can hear you. Se escucha, si se escucha, Ivana. We can hear you, John. Maybe for your example, it's okay, Joanna. Uh, maybe for Margarita's example to make sense, maybe Margarita, can you repeat your example, please? Uh, my sister can, can cook my dinner or my sister can buy my dinner. That's better, or she can. 
because you said or my sister mm -hmm. or she can buy my dinner <laughs> my sister can cook my dinner or she can buy it <laughs> or okay. she can buy it that, that example is okay but in this case in margarita's example you need a comma because you are connecting two sentences okay the second for example in the case of joanna no because it's son... Palabras, o es sea, una opciones. Frase, es una frase. Ah. Después de orba, una frase, no es una oración. Y en tu caso, sí, porque decimos or you can buy it. You can buy it, sí, es una oración. Pero en el caso de Joana, no es una oración, es una frase. ¿Ok? I want to eat apple or carrot. Ah, or yeah. carrots for dinner. Ah, carrots yeah. for dinner is a phrase. Yes, so no yes. coma is needed. For dinner okay. or for the dinner? For dinner. For dinner. Okay. Yet. What is the pronunciation? Yet. 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 It's a jet. It's like bad. Hmm. Okay. Que no, no me suena la palabra. Así. Hello, teacher. Hello. Del 1 al 10, que tan mal vamos. Oh my God, no, I didn't listen to your examples. No les he escuchado los ejemplos todavía. I didn't listen to your examples. If you want, tell me one so I can tell you. So oh. you can. Ah, oh, I see, I see the examples are on the screen. Let me see. No había visto yes. que allí tenían los ejemplos. No, sé, no los veía en azulito. She, con, she connected mm -hmm. later at class for she had work. She connected later to class. To, to class. To class. Yeah. At classes. Mm -hmm. So oh, you raise at. Yeah. I can, I can borrar el at. You raise at. Mm -hmm. For she had work. Ella tenía trabajo o tenía que trabajar? Sí. What do you mean? She, oh, she had work, okay? Good. I like to eat meat, pero ese meat que quieren decir no se escribe meat. con doble E. Se escribe con A, meat, meat. Meat. Exactly. Uh -huh. Because meat is conocer. Sí. And wine for lunch. Yeah, that's okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, John doesn't like to, to play soccer. Wow. Uh, nor does like dance no does he like he does nor he does like, he uh -huh. like dancing yes. you can say dancing bailando no no le gusta bailar es que después de like normalmente en algunas veces usamos el ing nor uh -huh. does he like dancing yeah okay let's see the other I would like to eat salads but I would like to eat pizza all right yeah, that's fine. It's okay. Continue. Lo que nos falta el tú. I would like to. Uh, exactly. To eat. To eat, to eat salad. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Salad. Or. To eat. Mm -hmm. Eat salad. To eat pizza. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, continue mm, with the or. other. Okay, vamos con or. We call or. <laughs> We call go to school. Ajá. Que podríamos ir al zoológico o a un parque temático. Ajá. Ajá. Oh, como son como alternativas. Vaya. I can study English or I go to the beach. English or I could ¿Y por qué no ponemos we can go to the store or a bear? ¿Cómo? 
No le escuché. Eh, este, podemos ir al zoológico o a una caminata. Ajá. ¿Cómo sería? We can, we can go to... ¿Cómo? No. ¿Así? No. Can. Can. Okay. Can. Okay. We can go to... ¿Tú? ¿Me falta tú? Go to... Go. Or... Go. 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 No, después de, de, del co era el to. Sirio. We can't go. Mm. Creo que ahí quedaría mejor. Inglés. Por eso. <laughs> uh, we can learn English or we can learn German. Maybe. Teacher. Teacher. I, uh, we have a question. Tell me. We have a question. The, the meaning of ether is tampoco. Is tampoco. Yes. Pero, por ejemplo, en el ejemplo que está, en el cuadro dice, we could go to the zoo or we could go to the park. Entonces se traduce como nosotros podríamos ir al zoo. Tampoco nosotros podríamos ir como a este parque. Ah, no, no, no. I mean, the, the, the best translation for or in this case is o oh, in Spanish. O. Oh. Ajá. O. Oh. It's like you have two alternatives. You have two options, ¿ok? O sea que puede ser tampoco o puede ser o. Oh. I would say o oh, in this case. O. Oh. Oh. Ajá. Ajá. It's like you have two alternatives or two options, ¿ok? Ok. Podríamos ir a zoológico o podríamos ir a un parque temático. Por ejemplo, I think it's that's the translation. Or, oh, two options, okay? Uh, can you say the example again, please, Angela? We can, you said we can. We can learn English or we can learn German. Yeah, that's okay. I mean, okay. we could learn English My... or we could, you have two alternatives, two options. Okay, teacher. Hay una oración, un ejemplo que realmente me gusta mucho, pero no lo logro, o sea, no logro coincidir con las palabras que realmente pueden usar para que quede bien la lectura con la traducción. Uh -huh. es esta, así lo he dejado. I want to wait less, but I'm not going to the gym. Pero está, can, o sea, pero también incluye el but. Yeah, can you repeat it, please? I want to wait less, but I'm not going to the gym. What do you mean? ¿Qué quiere, qué quiere decir con el ejemplo? Quiero bajar de peso, pero que, no quiero ir Quiero al perder peso pero no voy al gimnasio. Mm, maybe in this case is better if you say, I want to lose. I want to lose weight. Lose. Ajá. I want to lose weight. I eh. want, to... I want ah. to lose weight. But, Ajá, but, I, but I, don't, I don't go to the gym. I don't. No, porque but que I... debemos usar, usar nor. 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 Ah, nor. Nor, mm. ajá. Mm -hmm. No, but the, the, the things that the, the, the translation for nor is me. Ah, me. Ah, sí, sí. Ah, ah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's right. Uh -huh. Es que ahí, teacher, en el cuadro... Por eso nos confundimos. Como y no. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Nosotros queremos perder peso y no queremos ir allí. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, because it's, a, it's like a definition, uh -huh. but, but the real meaning in Spanish is me. Podría ser... No quiero, no quiero ir aquí, hacer ejercicio, no ni quiero, ni quiero, ni quiero, <risa> no quiero ir al gimnasio, ni quiero hacer ejercicio en casa, podría ser. Ya, yeah, ya, yeah, that's okay. I don't, yeah, yeah, yeah. you can say, uh, yeah, but you have to remember something important here. 
that when we use nor, we use an auxiliary verb, okay? You can say, for example, I don't want to go to the gym, nor uh, do I want to, to exercise, nor do I want to exercise, nor do I, okay? Do, do I. I. Because we need an auxiliary in, in the, I mean, or do I yeah, nor I, do, I, do I want to do exercise. I. Do I de hacer ejercicio? De hacer? Do? Ajá. No, es el auxiliar? no, no, do es el auxiliar porque necesitamos un auxiliar. Cuando ajá, usamos el nor necesitamos un verbo auxiliar. Que es lo eso que decían las chicas que, ajá, ajá. que necesitábamos un auxiliar exactly. porque no nos cuadraba. Uh -huh. Ajá, nor, do I, for example. Es como cuando hacemos una pregunta en el presente simple, ¿ok? Uh -huh. uh, okay. Como, cuando, cuando, como cuando digo, uh, do you want to go to the gym? Ajá, entonces voy a decir, nor do you want to go to the gym, ¿ok? okay. Yeah, chicas, so because we está, need an auxiliary. Está, uh -huh. is, está claro, chicas. Está claro. Yeah, in the, so in the example you can say, I don't want to go to the gym, nor do I want to do exercise, nor do I, do want, I want to do exercise. ¿Por qué digo do dos veces? Porque el primero es un auxiliar y el segundo es un verbo mm -hmm. principal, ¿ok? Easy okay. as that. ¿Ya? Yeah. Ok. Ok, thank you, teacher. Niñas, quedó así. Right. I want to lose weight, nor do I want to do exercise. Oh, yeah, that's ok. Lose uh, <laughs> I want Is to lose weight, and I... Or do I want to do exercise? Yeah, but, but, uh -huh. Pero como la traducción vendría siendo ni. Exactly. That, that's what I was about to say. Eso era lo que estaba a punto de decir, que normalmente la primera oración es negativa, porque la segunda lleva ni. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Ya. Yeah. Entonces sí tendría que ser como, I don't go to the gym, nor do I want to do exercise. Como no quiero ir bien, tampoco hacer ejercicio. Hola. No, 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 no quiero ir al gym ni quiero hacer ejercicio. Ajá. Como, ay, Me no, perdí, no, Lourdes. Repito otra vez toda la oración. I, ya no va, I want to I, wait. Ok, ok. No. Just something quickly, Lourdes. Lourdes. Vaya, para que Susana no se pierda, cambiémosle el sentido de que no quiere perder peso. Pongámosle, no quiero ganar peso mejor. Porque el detalle es, Susana, que en la primera oración debe ir negativa cuando usamos el nor. Mm. ¿Ok? ¿Ya? Yeah. So me dice la primera parte, no después del nor. Usted me dice antes del nor, tiene que ir la, negativo. Exactly, exactly. Exactly. Oh. So, vaya, para darle sentido a su oración, sí, con lo de perder peso, podría decir mejor, no quiero ganar peso. Entonces ya sería diferente porque ahí sería negativo. I don't want, I don't want to gain weight. Ahí sí sería diferente. Uh -huh. ¿Ah? Yeah. Uh -huh. Now it changes because it's negative. Yes. Ajá. Tal vez pa para darle, en este caso, con, el, con la suya podríamos usar la conjunction but. Si, 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 si quiere usarle, usar la, 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 o el jet, incluso el jet. Si dice, yo quiero perder peso, pero, aquí sí sería un pero, Ajá, pero no quiero ir al gimnasio. Aquí sí podría usar el jet o el bat, cualquiera de las dos. Uh -huh. Para que usen el ejemplo que usted tiene. Ya hicieron el ejemplo con jet. ¿Lo no hemos llegado a ese. Ah, entonces pueden dejar uh -huh. ese ejemplo con el jet, el que está dando Susana. Y dejen el otro así como lo teníamos, lo urdes. Okay, I don't want to go to the gym. No, mm. tú. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And you leave Susana's example in jet, okay? Okay, thank mm -hmm. you. Okay. 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 Thank you, teacher. All right. Chicas, vamos en el... En, en el... Friday. Ni se conectó hoy, puede ser. Aquí estoy. Llegó, llegó el teacher, no, le dije que alguien se conectó. 
Yes. Ah, calladito está el teacher. No, she connect today. I'm checking. I'm checking your work. I'm checking okay, your work. Yes. Uh, here in the number three, uh, we, we have a, a dude. Yeah, what is your doubt? Uh, is missing the comma or not missing the comma? In yes, it's, it's missing. But you need to say he is a good singer. Good singer. And he is comma. a good singer. And, and he is a good singer. But you need to say he. He is. Ah, uh, no, 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 and he, and, and he is a good singer. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Coma. No, Miguel, 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 the coma is before end, como siempre. Ah, okay. yeah. And, perdón, perdón, sorry. Yeah. So, sorry. It's okay. And you say and remember. Y recuerden la regla de la tercera persona en presente que llevaba ese el verbo y no se lo han puesto a ninguno. Oh, right. He dances. He dances. He dances. He dances. He studies. Exactly. Singer, singer is, is okay. Es la persona, ¿no? Sí. Studies. 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 Mm -hmm. Studies. Studies much. Or she wants. Or she wants. Yeah, Or that she okay. wants. Okay. Yeah, it's okay. Dances. The she children works. want. Aquí. Want. It's, it's go to number four. Hey, go to number mm. four. Number, no, go to number four now. Number four. They don't know go to the beach. What do you mean? ¿Qué quieren decir ahí? What do you mean there? Ellos, ellos no, no sabían si no ir a la playa. Ellos no saben si ir a la playa. Go to the Hay beach. falta if, teacher. The things that you're, you're thinking in Spanish too much. They don't know if go to the beach or if go to the mountain. Ah, exactly. So you need to use if. They don't know if. 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 They want to ah, know. They don't es que know so... if go to the beach or go to okay. the mountain. No, oh. if they want, if they want to go to the beach. Es que ahí se está, ahí es una oración ah. más compleja ya. No, 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 no. It's they don't know. And go want. If they don't want to go. They... If they want to go, sorry. If they, oh. they. They don't know if they want to go to the beach. They don't know if, if they, they, they have want to go want to go to the beach, uh, to, to the beach. beach. Or if or if they want they to go to the mountain. Uh, or they want to go or if they want to go. X is a complex sentence. They want. They yeah, want. They want. Oh, okay. want. To, to go. To go. Uh -huh, it's okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Want to play. Number five. The children yes, want to play. Want to Place. <clears throat> no, one, no, it's no, one uh, is okay. One, two, place. one, two, one, two, one to play. Ah, uh, one to play. No, la, la S no es necesaria porque es children, it's plural. Mm -hmm. Ah, perdón, sorry. Okay. She works all day yeah. and still study at night. She uh, works, is okay. And still, and still studies. studies. Right. It doesn't come back at home. It's correct, teacher. It does not come back at home. Mm -hmm. Let me let me see. Can you say it in Spanish, please? Ella trabaja todo el día y es 
y estudia en la noche. Eh, y él no llega todo. Pues, eh, aún. aún eh, ajá, el el pero, jet sería, pero. Pero, pero aún no, no, llega, llega, no llega, llega a casa. casa. No uh -huh. ha regresado a casa. Don't come back. No ha regresado a casa. Ya. Yeah. Es que la última parte yo siento que no tiene mucho sentido. Sí, not, not even in Spanish. Ni siquiera, no, ni siquiera en español. I, that's what I feel. Okay. She works all day and still studies the night. Yet, she does not come back home. Yet, Because yet, yet is pero in this case. Yet is pero. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Tendría más sentido como que ella salió temprano de su trabajo. Pero todavía no llega a casa. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Mm -hmm. Tell me another idea, different idea on the second part. Um, pero trabajo de Pero. Pero. Esa es la primera parte, la podríamos cambiar para que. Uh -huh. maybe, maybe don't 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 complicate yourself. Maybe you can only say she works all day. Coma. But. Uh -huh. Ajá. Or yet. Pero. Ayer. Uh, cansa los fines de semana. Pero. No, no, es que no. Descansa. Descansa. El fin de semana. O sea, she works all, all day the week. Ella trabaja todos los días de la semana, pero descansa. Fin de semana. Esto lo que pasa es que tiene que ser como una negación sobre la lógica de la primera parte. Exactly, yo. Exactly. En ese sentido puedo decir, ella trabajó todo el día, pero este día estaba enferma. No, no, but, but you can say what, uh, what, what Adriana is saying. Can you repeat it, Adriana? Ella, eh, she wore all days that week, yeah. but she descansa, no sé cómo se dice. How do you say descansa? She rests. Maybe. She yes. rest, but she rest in the semana, se me olvida. On the weekend. Weekend. On the, the weekend. weekend. Uh -huh, on the weekend. She rest on the weekends. On week on weekends, you can say on weekends. On weekends. Pero she works all week. Ya trabaja week. toda la a ah, week. On weekends. On weekends. Yeah. Ah, but she rests. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. Let me see. She works all day, yet she rests on weekend. Or maybe, yeah, I, I mean, the things that I feel there's something, I don't know. Sí, porque ella trabaja uh -huh. todo el día o todos los días, dice ahí. She works yeah, all day. A todo el día, dice ahí. Pero ella descansa los fines de semana. Exactly. So you can say maybe uh -huh. every day. She works or she works from Monday to Friday. Ajá. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Let me see. Yet she rests on weekends. I am, yeah, I am thinking that it's better. I think Miguel is right somehow. Yeah, I think we need a negation in the next part. Because when we say yet, I mean, the, 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 the best like definition is bad. But the, the best translation is aún así. Pero o aún así. But, and in this case, If I, if I say, for example, um, ella trabaja de lunes a viernes, aún así descansa los fines de semana. Mm, do you think it makes sense? ¿Creen que tenga sentido? Do you think it makes sense? No, si es aún así, no. Ajá. Eh, la cosa es que Como sobre el tiempo, una... sobre la parte afirmativa. Ella trabaja todos los días aún así, tiene energía, 
cuando llega a Canadá, no sé. Mm, sí. Algo, sí. Ah, ah, da, algo that's sí, better. Ah, I like it better. Yes. I like mm -hmm. it better. Suena mejor. Mm -hmm. Sí. Hello, Mayra. She, yeah, it's, I think that that's better. That's better. Uh, she works from Monday to Friday, yet she has energy. Okay, on the weekends. I don't know. She has she energy. Has. She has. She has energy. She has energy on weekends. Has. Energy on weekends. Yeah, that's okay. But you say she, she has. 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 She has. Yeah, she has. She has energy on weekends. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's okay. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, continue. let me see the other. She not connect on the class. Mm -hmm. She doesn't. El not no puede ir solo. She, she does not, you can say maybe, or she doesn't. She does not or she doesn't. She doesn't connect to the class. I mean, but you want to say the example in past, right? In pasado lo quieren decir. Uh -huh. Ah, she didn't, entonces. She didn't, didn't. She didn't connect. Uh -huh. Exactly. She didn't connect to the class, to. To the class, not on. To the class on Tuesday. On Tuesday. On Tuesday. Ah, sin H, el Tuesday, on Tuesday. Y los, y los días de la semana siempre van en mayúscula. Weekdays are always in capital letters, ¿ok? Nor did, porque we need, an, we need an auxiliary, right? Nor did she. Nor did she connect on Friday. Uh -huh. Exactly, nor did she connect on Friday. I say did because we need an, an auxiliary verb, okay? Yeah. And in this case, the auxiliary verb needs to be in past because we are talking in past, okay? Yes. All right. Now it's okay. So you finish, right? Yes. Okay. yes. If you want, share the information with the rest of the class because we are going to the main station, okay? Compartan la información okay. porque ya regresamos. Ahorita okay. mismo, right now. Screen? You can See do the screen? Uh -huh. Yes. Is a screenshot. Okay. Okay. Everybody. Yes. 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 A screenshot. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> bye. All right, everybody. Uh, so uh, we are going to, um, well, I guess everybody has, has come back. Well, we are going to listen uh, to, to some of the examples you have, okay? I was, I said 15 minutes, right? But we took like 45 minutes. But, I mean, but it's okay, no problem, okay? No problem because I, I was checking every group and I could see that many participants have problems using the conjunctions. And it's okay because using the conjunctions is not very easy. It's not an easy topic, okay? I mean, that's okay. The time doesn't matter as long as you understand the topic, okay? So uh, let's listen to some of the examples uh, we have, okay? Let's start with the preposition. Um, let me see. The first preposition is for, okay, for. Let's listen to, um, let me see, Asalia. Asalia, can you read the example you have using for, please? And the rest, listen, please. Hello, Asalia. Four, teacher. Hello, can you read the example using four, please, Asalia? Four. Yeah. Um, moment, please.
in the first sentence, Sally. Why is it given? Sorry. Using for, yeah, using the conjunction for is the first sentence. Okay, while we wait for a for Asalia, let's listen to Floor. Floor, okay, get ready, Asalia. Floor, can you read the example using for, please? Okay, teacher. Let's listen. Um, Angela is tired for she works hard. Can you repeat it, please? Angela is tired for she works hard. Angela studies for she works hard. hard. Mm -hmm. Angela está cansada porque ella trabaja duro. Ah, is tired, sorry, is tired. Sí. Uh, I, tired. I, I, I listen studies. No, no, it's yeah. okay. Okay, repeat the example using is tired, please. Repeat it. Angela is tired for she works hard. Okay, that's excellent. It's very good. Okay, because, right? Because or for, okay, it's the same. Okay, thank you. That's very good. So, uh, Asalia, are you ready? Yes, teacher. Okay, let's listen to Asalia, please. She connected later, later to class for she had work. Good. Okay, she connected late to class late. for she had work. Okay, work. that's excellent. And uh, she had work. Okay, that's very good. Excellent. Okay, the two examples are correct. Okay, that's very good. Now let's listen to some examples with the second conjunction. The second conjunction is N, right? N. All right, let's listen to Miguel using the conjunction N. Okay, teacher. Uh, N. Okay. He dances very good and he is a good singer. All right, very good. He dances very good and he is a good singer. Singer. All right? Singer. Yes. Excellent. That's very good. That's amazing. Let's listen to Angela. Were you in the same group? Angela? Yes, were you teacher. In the, okay. Were you in the same or a different group with Miguel? Uh, different with different groups. Miguel. Uh -huh. uh, Can you read your example, please? Using uh, N. Okay. Uh, the second. Yeah. The customers want coffee and water. Repeat it, please. The customer want coffee and water. What do you want to say in Spanish? Que el cliente quiere café y agua. And water. <laughs> water. Oh, oh my goodness, what a, what a combination. <laughs> yes. I mean, yeah, the example is okay, okay. The customers want coffee and water. And water. The, yeah, but remember, in this case, we don't use comma, right? Um, yes. Yes. Listen to the example, everybody, not only, okay, listen to the example, everybody. Escuchen todos. Uh, the customers want coffee and water. Do we use a comma here? Usamos una mm -hmm. comma acá? Mm -hmm. Do we use a comma here? No. No, no, no. no right? The example Listen. is okay, but we don't use a comma. Why not? Because don't, don't, it, don't is too. You are adding something. Two sentences. Exactly. No. Two exactly. words. Because, because we don't have two sentences on the second okay. part and water. Water. Water is not a sentence. Water no es una oración. Water is not a sentence, so no comma is necessary. The yes, example yes. is okay, but the comma is not necessary, okay? Yeah? Okay. So, Angela, your example is, co is correct, but the comma is not necessary because we, not are, not, sure. uh, we are not connecting sentences, okay? In this case. Okay? Sure. Yeah? Uh, maybe, uh, podría ser, no sé cómo se dice. Could be. Could uh, be. Could be. Uh, the customers wants coffee. And her daughter wants uh, water. And or or even you can say and they want water. The customers want coffee, and they want water too. You can say. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Y también quieren agua. When they want, but you are saying they want. Okay, they want water too. Okay, that's okay. Mm -hmm. Or her daughter wants water. Mm -hmm. 
It's okay. Okay, thank you very much, Lourdes. Thank you very much. All right, thank you very much. Now let's go to uh, conjunction number three, nor, nor. Let's listen to um, <clears throat> Rosa using nor. Nor. Oh, it's so difficult, no. Oh my God, okay. Try. My card uh, isn't blue, nor is it black. Yeah, it's okay. It's the example is okay. Listen to the example. My car is not blue, nor is it black. Teacher, pero esa no es una pregunta. ¿Por qué digo, is it black? Ah, I said, right? Que con el nor usamos un verbo auxiliar. Y en este caso el auxiliar es is. Nor is it black. All right? Yeah, and that's okay. No problem. Okay, thank you, Rosa. Thank you very much. Now let's teacher, listen to teacher, yeah, yeah. Only only talking about and can I say my lunch was vegetable and grilled chicken? And grilled chicken. And grilled chicken. And grilled chicken. Grilled. Grilled yeah, it's chicken. yeah, it's, it's okay. okay. I mean the example is okay, but you don't need comma in this case. Okay. In this case, you don't put a comma, okay? Okay. okay. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much, Rosa. Let's listen to Sulma with the same nor. Okay, um, John doesn't like to play soccer, nor does he like dancing. Good, okay. Uh, can you repeat it, please? Yes, John doesn't like to play soccer, nor does he like dancing. Ah, John doesn't like, listen to this. John doesn't like to play soccer, nor does he like dancing does he like dancing bernardo pero esa no es una pregunta por qué le pongo does he like all right i said you need to use an auxiliary after nor so you say nor does he like dancing ni le gusta bailar okay yeah all right very good okay thank you very much Sulma. your example is correct and rosa thank you very much okay do you have any question about nor do you have any question about nor? Or it's clear? Nor. Yeah. Teacher, yo no entiendo cuando dice que eh, es un auxiliar. Un auxiliar y por... Ajá, ¿por qué lo está como dándole vuelta? Yes. I, I will make it simple, okay? Make it more simple. Listen. And I will say it in Spanish, of course. Listen. Después del nor... Va la forma de pregunta, prácticamente, aunque es una oración. La forma de una pregunta cerrada. Si es en pasado, nor did she like chicken, for example. She didn't like hamburgers, nor did she like chicken. Did she? In past. In present, you say does or do. Okay? Yeah? Uh, for example, we don't like baseballs, nor do we like Tea, for example, nor do we like tea. Yeah? Es así. Es yes. como fórmula. Yeah, that's the, like in general, that's the formula. Pónganlo en forma de pregunta después del nor. Okay, that's it. I was, I was looking at an exam and say, my father neither smoke nor drink. But, but that's another topic. It's, I mean, it's ah, okay. okay. It's okay, but ah, that's okay. another topic. That's a different okay. topic. Okay, because this, they neither. Yeah, in this case, this nor is not a con is not a coordinating conjunction anymore. Okay. That's another topic. Okay. okay. Yeah. Yeah, but that's okay. All right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Okay. Thank you very much. Um. Now let's go to the other uh, conjunction. The other conjunction is help me please. What is the other conjunction? But right. But okay. Let's listen to some examples using but. Okay. Let's listen to Susana first. Using bad, Susana. Hello, Susana. Hi. Do you have one example using bad? Yes. Can you share, please? I to speak English. I don't practice. Can you repeat it, please? I want to speak English, but I don't, I not practice. I don't, no, I don't, it's okay, I don't. Okay. But I don't, I practice. don't practice. 
Okay, very good. Okay, the example is perfect. Okay, the example is perfect, but the idea is not okay because you have to practice English. Okay. <laughs> okay, thank you very much, Susana. Okay, let's listen to another example uh, with the same using but. Okay, let's listen to Jansi. Using but. Do you have the example, Jansi? Yes. Okay, using but. but. The children want, want to play in the park, but um can you repeat it please the children when to play in the park but ah okay the children i want to play in the park but it is raining yeah yes yes okay yeah the example is okay the children want to play in the park but it is raining all right thank you very much Jansi. Let's listen to another example. Well, we had two examples using but, right? Now let's listen to some examples using or. Or. All right, let's listen to um, Ada. Using or, Ada, or. Uh, they don't know if they want to go to the beach or if they want to go to the mountain. Yeah, that's okay. That's fine. Okay, thank you very much. Um, now let's listen to another example. Let's listen to, um, let's see. Let's see, Osmin. Yes, teacher. Okay, uh, my example is, what do you prefer? A English class, comma, or a French class? Mm hmm. <laughs> Can you repeat the example, please? Okay. What do you prefer? A English class, comma, or French class? Or, okay, or French class. French class. Is or French, French class. class a sentence? French class, is it a sentence? Es una oración, French class? No, teacher. No, 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 right? No, no, no. So the example, it's okay. I mean, the example, it's okay. But the comma is not necessary in this case because the second part no. is not a sentence, okay? So the comma is not necessary, okay? No, necessary, okay? No, it's, it's not necessary. But the example is okay, All right? But the example is okay. Comma, no, okay. Yeah, the comma is not necessary. Okay, thank you right. very much, Osmin. Right. Thank you very much. Yeah. Okay, very good. Uh, now, uh, let's listen to another example using or. Okay, let's listen to, um, let me see. It's Sandra. True. Yeah, yeah, tell me, Angela. In my example, the or is um, we call learn English or we comma or we call learn German. Okay, that's, that's better because we are connecting two sentences, right? We could learn English, comma, or we could, we could learn German. So we have two sentences. That's okay. Okay. That's very good. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. Now let's listen to examples using yet. This is a bit more complicated. Okay. Using yet. Let's listen to um, Mayra. Do you have one example using yet? Yes. Okay. Can you say it, please? She works Monday to Friday. Yet she has energy on weekends. Very good. That's that's excellent. Okay, she works from Monday to Friday, comma. Yet she has energy on weekends. All right. Yet I, I was telling uh, Myra's group, I think. Yeah, I, I think that in this case, uh, yet okay, uh, or the best translation for yet is aun así, aun así, and we have the result right. Aún así tiene energía el fin de semana, okay? Yeah, very good, okay, thank you. Teacher, can I yeah. say my, my, can I say my sentence? Yeah, say it, please. The day was cloudy, yet the sun shines a moment. Yeah, yeah it's okay, yeah, the, okay. The, but, but in this case, is the sentence is in past. And shine, oh. and shine, in shine. past is shown, yes. shown, shown, yes. shown for a moment. 
Yeah? Shown for a moment. Yeah. Shown for a moment. Brilló por un momento. Shown for a moment. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but the example is okay. Hey, thank okay. you very much. Okay, and now let's go to the last conjunction. Okay. Using so. All right, let me see. Using so, volunteers, voluntarios. Using me, so. teacher. All right, yeah, let's teacher. listen to Margarita. I have class on Tuesday. So, comma. So, I don't assist to the stadium. All right. Yeah, the example, it's, it's okay. But, but I feel that the example has to be in future, okay? Or the idea has to be in future. Maybe, uh, can you repeat the example, please? Ah, okay. I will have class on Tuesday. Yeah. So, I don't assist. I don't, no, I won't assist to the stadium. Yeah, that's okay. That's better, okay? Or you can say, I am Only going. Miguel. I am going because it's true, right? I am going. Oh, no, Miguel is not going this time, I think. Miguel, are you going? Thank you. Thank you, you remember. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I think he doesn't have a ticket for, 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 this, for this game. <laughs> he doesn't have server. permission. <laughs> and he doesn't have a ticket. And he, does, lo and he doesn't and he doesn't have permission and he doesn't you have are, permission okay bear, bless me. <laughs> all right uh so so i was saying margarita so you can say the example with going to so you can say i am going uh, to have classes on thursday so no, i am not I, going to go to the oh stadium okay. okay yeah okay thank you very much margarita <laughs> Do we have another volunteer uh, with, with the example using so? Me, teacher. Okay, let's listen to Angela. She is tired, comma, so she is going to go to sleep. Okay, so she is very tired, so she is going to go to sleep. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, it's very good. So the best okay. translation for so is así que. That's the translation for so, okay? Okay. Okay, thank you very much, everybody. Now, please. Go to reactions and let's give the participations a heart. Okay, go to reactions and let's, let's give the participations a heart. Or the, the people who participated, give them a heart, okay? Thank you very much. Very good. So uh, just before I go to the next part, do you still have any questions about conjunctions, coordinating conjunctions? I think it's about practice. But if you have questions, you can ask your questions in this moment. Thank you. No, no questions. Everything no question. uh, is. Yeah. No. No, no questions. No everything question. is everything is clear. It's clear. Like this water. Yes. Okay. Very good. My water is clean. All right. So I hope <laughs> the topic is clear too. All right. Very good. Uh, now we are going to go uh, to actually. I didn't expect this activity to take too much time. I was, I planned this activity for 30 minutes, but, but, but anyways, all right. So the idea is uh, that you learn, okay? So if you learn, it's okay. Time is not, it's not, it's not important, okay? So let's continue then with the next activity and on the next activity, okay? So here we have today's uh, content and on the next activity, we have some discussion questions as always, okay? So, and, yeah. Be attended. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. All right, let me pass it quickly. I forgot. Thank you. Okay, Ada? Present. Adriana? Present. Ana Michelle? Present. Angela? Present, teacher. Darwin? Present, teacher. Flor? Present. Gloria? Here. All right, Joanna. Present teacher. All right, Lourdes. Present. Margarita. I'm here. Very good, Mayra. Present. Miguel. Present teacher. Very good, Nelson. Present. Hugo. Ophelia. Here teacher. Excellent, Osmin. Present teacher. Rafael. Present. All right, Rosa. Present. Sandra. Present. 
Listen. Okay. Jansi? Zulma? Here. Asalia? Present. Ingrid? And Susana. Susana? All right, very good. Okay, thank you very much. All right, uh, so as I said, in the next activity, uh, we have some discussion questions, right? And the questions, um, so we have them here. Uh, the first question is, what is, when you go to a restaurant or in a restaurant, what is your favorite starter? What is a starter? Entrada. Entrada, entrada, or entrada, exactly. So it can be a, uh, maybe soup or salad, I don't know, or some fruits, okay? Have you ever eaten at an all-you-can-eat restaurant? Do you know what is an all-you-can-eat restaurant? What is all-you-can-eat restaurant? Todo lo que puedas comer. Exactly, <laughs> it's like buffet, it's like buffet, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so have you ever eaten at an all-you-can-eat restaurant? What was the menu like? Like, what do they offer? Or what did they offer in the menu? Chicken, I mean, potatoes or salad or rice, I don't know, right? Yeah. So if, if you have never, if you have never eaten at an all-you-can-eat restaurant, say, no, I haven't, only, okay? But if you have, you need to say, yes, I have. And then you need to describe the menu, okay? Okay, let's take a moment and answer the questions, please. Question to teacher. Teacher. Yeah, it's uh, the question two is Have you ever eaten? It's like, Alguna vez has comido? Have you ever eaten? At an old you can eat restaurant? En un restaurante en el cual puedes comer de todo, like, for example, um, like, like a buffet restaurant, okay? Yeah, Sandra, is it clear? Yes. Okay. Thank you. All right. I, at an all you can eat restaurant, basically you pay, you pay a specific amount of money and you can eat whatever you want. Like for example, they, they say you pay $30. $30 and then you can eat whatever is on the, on the menu, all right? Or on the buffet, yeah? In Pueblo Viejo, on the Pueblo Viejo. I, I eat in Pueblo Viejo. You say um, in. Because in. you are, yeah, because you are saying the place.
Okay, I will give you uh, two more minutes to finish, okay? Two minutes. In two minutes, we start with the activity. All right, time is over. So the questions are on page number uh, 12, okay? So the questions are on page number 12. Question number one is, what is your favorite starter? What is your favorite starter? And question number two, have you ever eaten, have you ever eaten at an old you can eat restaurant? Have you ever eaten at an old you can eat restaurant? What was the menu like? Like what was the food, okay? So let me see, volunteers to answer the questions? Volunteers? Okay, let's listen to Joanna, okay? Uh, Joanna, so what is your favorite starter? My favorite starter is great fries. Very good. Uh, have you ever eaten at an old you can eat restaurant? Yes, I eaten at uh, all you can eat in Papayon. All right, well, what was the menu like? The pizza. Uh, pizza? Yeah, what? Only pizza. Yo entendí en esa pregunta, Tiche, que cómo había sido el menú. Entonces yo respondí que the menu was varied, que el menú había sido variado. Okay, yeah, yeah, it's okay. What's the menu like? Yeah, uh, so in the question, since the, que the question is, right, uh, what was the menu like? ¿Cómo fue o cómo estuvo el menú? ¿O cómo fue el menú? That's the translation for the question. Ajá. Uh -huh. So you can say the menu was varied. Varied. Varied, yeah, that's okay. okay. All right, thank you very much. Okay, uh, Joanna, can you select somebody, please? Can you select a classmate, please, Joanna? No sé, pero me suena Margarita. Margarita, all right. Ask Margarita the questions, please. Margarita, yes, she's connected. Ask her the questions. Uh, Joanna, can you ask Margarita the questions, please? Oh, yes. Uh, Margarita, what is your favorite no. starter? No. 
Bread with ajo, no sé cómo se dice. Garlic. Garlic. Bread with garlic. Ok. Eh, next. Have you ever eaten at all you can eat restaurant? Pizza Hut. Ok. Eh, What was the menu like? My favorite menu is um, no, lasagna. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, thank you very much. Very good. Uh, so we have to investigate how to say lasagna in English. So I mean, mainly the pronunciation, okay? So Margarita, okay. You, have, you have homework. <laughs> Investigate how to say lasagna in English, okay, including the pronunciation. I don't okay. know. I don't know how to say that. So you investigate and you tell me, okay? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, please. Thank you very much. Okay, Margarita, select someone and ask the questions, please. A boy, please. Miguel. A boy. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, ask the questions. Miguel, what is Thanks. your favorite start? Uh, my favorite start is a wonton. Have you ever eaten at all on you can eat restaurant? Yes, in a meat buffet in Bolivia. What was the menu like? First, uh, there are uh, many entries such as salads. And later, they offer you can different part of the code. Only. Oh, really? Yes, really. Very interesting. Thank you very much. All right. So, uh, Miguel, can you select somebody, please? Uh, Mayra? All Mayra? right. Ask her. Okay. Uh, what is your favorite starter? The washimi is my favorite. Uh, starter. 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 Oh, starter. Uh, have you ever eaten in all you can eat restaurant? Yes, I have. I have eaten at Faisca do Brazil. Okay. What was the menu like? The menu was all kinds of meat, salad, and dessert. Okay. okay thank you very much. Okay. Let's see, Mayra. Can you select the last participant, please? A boy. <clears throat> Yes, Darwin. Darwin, all right, thank you. Ask him, please, the questions. Darwin, what is your favorite starter? My favorite starter is nachos with cheese. Okay. Have you ever eaten at an all-you-can-eat? Yes, I have. I eat in papayam. Okay. What was the menu like? It a different portion of pizza and different beverage. Okay. Okay, thank you very much. Oh my goodness, we don't have Papa Jones here in my place. I like I really like Papa Jones, but we don't have Papa Jones here in How my place. How many portions did you eat? That I eat 10 portions. Oh my God. No, that was a lot. That was a lot. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, I, I have a question about Papa John's. I, I didn't know in Papa John's they have all you can eat. Uh, but uh, how much do you have to pay? Five dollars. Five dollars. So, so with five you can eat all you can. Yeah. yeah. It's very cheap, oh my goodness. And that, that promotion is every day. And you pay $10, you can drink beverage. And uh, all the beverages you want. Oh my goodness, I, I like that promotion. So when I go to San Salvador, I guess I'm going to go to Papa John's because I like, to, I like eating. <laughs> 
<laughs> All right, thank you very much. Okay, uh, thank you for your participation. So please, everyone, now go to reactions and let's give everybody a wow, all right? I mean, the, the participants, right? They were the people who participated. So go to reaction and let's give them a wow. Okay, thank you very much for your um, participations. And now let's go to the second uh, activity, all right? Uh, on the second activity, as every topic, uh, we always have a conversation, right? Well, most of the times we have a conversation, okay? So this time is not the exception. We have a conversation here. So listen, this time read the conversation for vocabulary. Take a moment, read the conversation and identify new vocabulary for you. But don't tell me yet. Just read and identify the new vocabulary for you. Interesting. Well, right. You don't have to check the vocabulary in the dictionary, okay? Just, just check the new vocabulary. And we discuss it together, okay? Don't worry. Just identify the new vocabulary. You don't have to check the dictionary right now. All right, now let's see the vocabulary you have, okay? What vocabulary did you find that is new? Polls. Polls. Okay, polls. And Very good. revise. Uh, what is revised? Let me see. Revised. And I, no, no. Oh, here. I him. Yeah, okay, him. very good. Any other new word? Core themes. So, sorry? Core themes. Polls. Yeah, we have polls here. We have no. polls. Core themes. Scenes. Scenes. We, where do we have scenes? Uh, Nancy. Ah, uh, here. It seems. Yes. It seems very good. Yeah? Where is it? I don't find it. Jennifer, the Memphis doing great. People like them. Then the new lemon cake. Courses. Ah, courses. I got you. Co courses. Okay, very good. Any other? The main, the main fish. Okay, the main fish and chips. Very good. What else? Boils. Boils. Sorry? Boils. Where is oh, it? Yeah, yeah. yeah poles. We have poles here. All right, okay. uh, let's check together. Uh, so the, the main fish and chips. Okay, fish and chips is, uh, you know what fish is, right? Fish is like the, the animal. And chips are like fried potatoes, okay? Yeah? Chips are like fried potatoes, yeah? And courses, in this case, maybe you can say an English course. An English course, it's okay. But in this case, the meaning of course is like the main course, el plato principal, okay? The main course is el plato principal in a restaurant, okay? Main course. Main, main course, course okay? Course. It's like el platillo principal, all right? So courses is like, in plural in this case, polls is encuestas. Okay, encuestas, the online polls, all right? Seem is parecer, it seems, parece. It seems, parece, parecer, 
Okay, so it seems is parece. It seems the new nacho snacks parece que los nuevos nachos, okay? O los, los, los bocadillos de los nachos, de los nuevos nachos, okay? So it seems. And revise is like to check, revisar, okay? Yeah. Is that all the new vocabulary? No more new vocabulary? Okay, now please, everybody, listen to the pronunciation carefully and then you practice. So listen and pay attention carefully, please. Are you ready to listen? Yes. All right, so let's listen then, only listen. How well are the new menu items doing? The main fish and chips courses are doing great. 99% of people like them. Then the new lemon cake line is not doing very well. Only 35% of our customers liked it. Liked it. Right. Right. Let me check the online polls for recent products. Yes, just like you said, it seems the new natural snacks are doing great. 80% of customers like them. Probably we only have to revise the Probably. lemon cakes. Probably. It's not many Probably. people reacted well. Probably. 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 Okay, listen again, please. How well are the new menu items doing? Menu. Menu items doing. The main fish and chips courses are doing great. 99% of people like them. Then... The new lemon cake line is not doing very well. Only 35% of our customers liked it. Let me check the online polls for recent products. Yes, just like you said, it seems the new nacho snacks aren't doing great. 80% of customers like them. Probably we only have to revise the lemon cakes since not many people reacted well, reacted, reacted well. Okay, so the conversation is on page number 12. So listen, please. We are going to practice the conversation in pairs, but please practice, 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 and practice, don't stop. I will give you like two or three minutes, but don't stop practicing, no dejen de practicar. You finish, uh, you change roles, you finish again, change roles again. So practice, practice, and practice, okay? Don't say, okay, I finished, I finished. No, practice, okay, please. All right, so the conversation is on page number 12. So we are going to practice in pairs, okay? So let's go to practice then. Let me make the groups quickly. All right, let's go to practice. Te escucho entrecortado, Nelson. Sí me escucha. Nelson. Hello. Hola, ¿sí me Hola. escucha? Ah. Hola. Hello, Zulma. Hola. Bye. Es que no le escuchaba. Dice que ya me conecté con mi teléfono. Sí, Ajá. ya me conecté, escucho. Hola, hola. Ah, bye. Hola. Sí, sí. Yo creí que... Ok. 
Okay. Uh, you start. Okay. Well, I start. I start. Hi. Right. Okay. How well are the new menus even doing? The main fish and ships, the main fish and ships course are doing great. 99% of people like them. Then the new lemon K line is not doing very well. Only 35% of our, our customers like it. Let me check the only the online for for recent products. Yes, just like you said, it same it same the new natural snack. Are drawing great. Eighty, eighty, eighty percent of customer like them. Probably, probably, we only have to revise the lemon case since not many people reacted well. Okay. Okay, you US, start. You start. You. Well, no, you start. No, I'm, okay. I'm starting. I'm starting. I'm starting. <laughs> How well are the new? By your side, is saying the new, new nachos and snacks are doing great. And uh, 80? 80? 80. For saying? Uh, for saying. Customer like them. Me cuesta eso. <laughs> Probab probably. We only have to revise the lemon cake signs. Not many people reacted well. Reacting well, okay. Reacted well. Reacting well. Okay. How well are the menu, are the new menu app things doing? The my fish and chips course are doing great. Ninety nine percent people like them. Then the new lemon K light is not doing very well. Only thirty five points or customer like it. Okay, uh, let's listen. Um, let's listen to three pairs. Okay, three pairs. But I need some volunteers. So who wants to do it? I need some volunteers. Who wants to do it? <laughs> okay, okay, Azalia, I think Azalia is first, right? Azalia, you said you want to? No, uh, no, no, Asalia said no. All right, so Rosa wants to then. Okay, Rosa. <laughs> okay, the floor. Your microphone, floor. Excuse me. Okay. How well are the new menus eating stowing? The main fish and ships course are doing great. 99% of people like them. Then the new lemon K lime is not doing very well. Only 35% of our customers like it. Let me check the online calls for recent products. Yes, just like you say it seems the new natural snack are doing great, 80% of customers like them. Probably we only have to revise the lemon cakes since not many people react to well. Okay, thank you very much, that's excellent. Uh, so for every for Rosa and for everybody, uh, use in, the, in, the, in this case, course is in plural, right? Are you say course or courses? Courses. Courses, exactly, okay? You say main courses because it's in plural, right? Courses, courses. And not only for Rosa, for everybody, okay? For everyone. Okay, thank you very much, Rosa and Flor. 
Now let's listen to another pair. So I need volunteers. Me, Sandra. Okay, Sandra in. Sandra in. Me, teacher. And Susana. All right, very good. Susana or Ophelia? No sé quién, porque también Sandra habló. Ah, okay. Uh, but, but Sandra, Ophelia, and Susana, you are together in the same group. Are you together in the same group? No, yes. No. Okay, let's listen to Sandra then. Sandra, who is your pair? Sandra, hello. Sandra. Hello. Who is your pair, Sandra? Who? Who is it? Who is Sandra's pair? Ahí dice Susana, Susana, creo que. Joana, la nueva, Joana. Joana. Joana, it's Joana. All right, so Joana, Joana. Okay, so go ahead. We listen to you, Joana and Sandra. Okay, okay. Star Joanna. Uh, okay. okay, Nancy. I'm Nancy. Uh -huh, How yes. are the new menu items doing? The first course. course on people. Then the new lemon cakes is not doing very well. Only 34. 34. Or customer like. Let me check the only code for reset products. Yes, just like you say, it seems the new Nacho snacks are doing great. 18% of customers like them. Probably we only have to revise the UK signs, not many people react well. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, uh, now let's see. We had Ophelia too, right? Ophelia, who is your pair? Yes, teacher. Who is your pair, Ophelia? Yes, teacher. Yeah, who is your pair? Quien es su pareja? Who is your pair? Uh, Susana. Susana, all right. All right, let's listen to Susana and Ophelia then. Who start? You start, Ophelia? I start? Yes. Nancy. How well are the new menus I am doing? I day many fish and cheese horses are going great. How do you say that? 99%. 99%. 99 people like them. And then the neighbor lemon cake is not going very well. Only a 30, 40, or, or customers like it. Let me check the online polls for recent products. Yes, just like you say, it seems the new nacho snacks are doing great. 80% of customers like them. Are probably are willing hard to reverse I dare lemon cakes seems not many people are reacting well okay thank you very much okay thank you for your participations in this activity okay uh, so please everyone go to reactions and let's give them a like let's give them a like this time let's give participants a like okay let's give them a like Okay, thank you very much. Okay, so uh, let's go uh, to the last activity of today and then I pass the attendance, okay? So in the last activity uh, for today, under the conversation, we have a poll, okay? We have an online poll, all right? And that is for March. This online poll is for March, okay? So please take a moment and check the information on the online poll, all right? and the conversation okay so please look at the information on the graphic and the conversation and 
next to the sentences, you need to write the percentages to the products, okay? For example, the new lemon cake line, what is the percentage of likeness? 35%. Sorry? 35%. I like yes. it, 35%, all right, so please. Take a moment and write the percentages individually. You can read the, the graphic or you can check the conversation, okay? The conversation. The very well only 35%. Okay, okay. So that's the... That's the percentage, so write the percentage. You can write it next to the sentences. If you have the photocopy, right? If you don't have the photocopy, you can do it on your notebook, okay? No problem. Oh, by the way, who has the one-on-one -on -one session today? Quien tiene la sesión uno a uno este día? Me. Who, has, who me? Me. Okay, Michelle. Ana Michelle. Okay, thank you, Michelle. Ready? Ready or not ready? Yes, yes right? It's, ready. it's very easy. Basically, the information is on the conversation, okay? So it's very, very simple. Let me see. I haven't heard Anna Michelle very much today. So Anna Michelle, uh, read the sentence number one, please, and say the percentage, okay? Read the sentence and say the percentage. Okay, the new lemon cake line is at 35%. 35%, okay, thank you very much. Gloria, I haven't heard Gloria today either. Number two, Gloria, the new... The new nature snack is 80%. 80, 80%, 80%. let me check here the information. It's 80%, that's correct, okay. Thank you very much, Gloria. And now let's listen to another person who hasn't participated today. Okay, let me see here. Rafael. <laughs> Fish and chips make girls 99, 99%. 99%, so it's the one with the highest percentage. Okay, thank you very much for your participation. Okay. Uh, very good. Uh, just quick reminder, solo recordar rápidamente que están todos conectados. Miércoles antes de la sesión, miércoles antes de la sesión deben estar completas eh, las tareas de la semana 1 en la plataforma o de la sección 1, ¿ok? Antes de la sesión, miércoles, ¿ok? Very good. So, I don't know if you have any question before I pass the attendance again. <coughs> no? Everything, everything is okay. Point. All right, okay. everything is okay. All right, very good. So let me pass the attendance quickly. Ada? Present. Adriana? Present. Anna Michelle? Present. Very good. Angela? Present, teacher. Good Darwin? Night. Good night. Present, teacher. Present. Flor? Present. Good night. Good night. Gloria? Gloria? Here. All right. Joanna? Present teacher. All right. Lourdes? Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Thanks. Margarita? I'm here. Okay. Thanks. Mayra? Present. All right. Thank you. Miguel? Present teacher. Okay. Thank you. Nelson? Present teacher. Very good. Ophelia? Here teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. Osmi. Present teacher, good night. Good night, Rafa. Present, good night. Good night, Rosa. Present. Sandra. 
Good night. Jancy? Present. Good night. Good bye and good night. Sulma? Present. Present. Okay. Asalia? Present. All right. Thank you. Ingrid? And Susana? Present. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay, everyone. So thank, thank you very much for connecting today. Uh, so goodbye. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night to you. Okay. Bye. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Bye, bye. Good night, See you everyone. Bye. 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 Okay, Michelle. So this space is for you. Okay. Este, um, tengo dudas siempre con la de las conjunciones. Oh my goodness, conjunctions. Yes. <laughs> All right. With, so... uh -huh, with uh, nor, nor and yet. With nor and yet. So you have problems with nor and yet. And yet. All right. Um, okay, so let, let, me, let, me, let, let me see. I think it's better if I give you some examples so you have a better idea, okay? So I will yes. give you some, some examples. So do you want me to write the examples or you prefer to listen only? I prefer to uh, see. Uh, to see. Uh, uh, see to more see. examples. Uh -huh. Okay, but, but I mean, but do you, want me, do you want to listen only or do you want me to write the examples on the board? Or listen only? No, right. Right. Okay, right. very good. So let's 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 start with uh with nor. Okay, let me share the, the board quickly. Okay. Okay, uh using uh nor. Okay, let me go here. So uh the, the, the maybe the most important thing in nor uh, when we use uh let me let me get a color here. Okay, so nor. The, the most important thing maybe with nor is that we need an auxiliary verb, as I was saying, right? So first, do you want to listen to one example in present, past, or in, in what tense? In present or in past or in future? What do you prefer? In, in present. In, in more present. Easy. It's a little more easy. Yes. All right. Uh, using, uh, I will say using which pronoun? Okay, I will say using they all right i'll say for example uh let me use another color here they uh don't they don't like they don't like uh chicken so something something important here is that the first example is uh frequently negative okay so they don't like chicken mm -hmm. nor Okay, nor, here we have the nor, T, okay. Nor, do they like beef? Okay, so I, I am using, okay, hold on a second. Okay, so I am using uh, nor here, all right? And the nor is connected to sentences. But what I was saying is that the second sentence we use an auxiliary verb. And in this case, the auxiliary verb is do, all right? Do, do. Mm -hmm. do. So I use it like question form. So what do I do? What is the formula? After, oh my goodness, after nor, I put the auxiliary verb, okay? It depends on the tense I am using. If it's present, I say do, obviously, right? Okay, so nor do they like beef. In Spanish, that sentence would be, a ellos no les gusta el pollo, ni les gusta la carne de, de res, ¿ok? La res, el res, ¿ok? Ah, es lo que usted decía, ¿verdad? De que, se, de que la segunda oración se colocaba como que si fuera una pregunta. Exactly. Exactly. So you say, do they like beef? So, but it's not a question, right? That's the difference here, mm -hmm. that it's not a question. But I put an auxiliary verb. Ok. Es que yeah. tengo, cuando en uno de los grupos, yeah. cuando se me reinició la compu que me metieron, Eh, estaba viendo una oración que habían hecho con mm -hmm. nor yeah. y decía I don't want to gain weight 
nor do I want to do exercise. Exactly. Entonces, Está correcto. Yes, it's okay. Ah, sí, porque pone el do antes. Ay. Yeah, exactly. Ajá. It's, it's, it's like, I don't want to gain weight. No quiero ganar peso. Ni Ajá. quiero, ok, ni quiero hacer ejercicio. So it means I don't want to, I don't want to gain weight, but I don't want, I don't want to do exercise either. Mm -hmm. uh, ok. Yeah. So the example is okay in this case. So uh, let's see another one, another example in the past, maybe. You see in the past, okay? okay? This example being past, okay? So the auxiliary in the past is did, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's the auxiliary. So that's important in this case, okay? So let's see. Um, I can say, for example, I didn't, the first sentence is negative, okay? I didn't see, uh, my my brother. I didn't see my brother on Monday, for example. I didn't see my brother on Monday. Comma. Nor did I see my sister. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So you see the auxiliary okay. is did, right? Okay. Sí. So okay. I didn't see my brother on Monday, nor, okay. did, nor did I see my sister. No vi a mi hermano el lunes, ni tampoco vi a mi hermana. Okay? Okay. Eh, yeah. Entonces también podría ser, eh, I didn't see my brother on Monday, nor, uh, nor did I see eh, on Friday. Uh -huh. Nor did I see him on Friday. Mm -hmm. Nor did I see him on Friday. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. Now it's clear. Sí. Okay. O sea, de que en la, solo para terminar de aclarar, eh, yeah. en la segunda oración eh, no es negativa, ¿verdad? El did. No, no. O sea, el, el, okay, el... listen. This is important. It's not negative because el nor uh -huh. la hace negativa. Y no ah, le da okay. la negación correctamente. Porque es ni, right? O tampoco. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Okay, very good. Yes. Now, uh, the, the, what is the other one? The other conjunction? Uh, yet. Yet. Okay, the intention yes. of yet, okay, is like tampoco, right? Okay, but, okay, hold on a second. Or maybe um, with yet, I can say aún así. Okay, to have a better uh, translation, okay? Aún así. Yeah? Okay, for example, when you say, um, let me see. Mm, let me think about one example. Any example comes to my mind in this moment. <laughs> okay. I can say, for example, um, I didn't, I will, I will use it in past, okay? I didn't, uh, okay. I didn't go to, um, to the stadium. I didn't go to the stadium, for example, comma. Yet, I, I watched the game on TV, okay? Okay. Yeah, so in this case is I didn't go to the stadium yet. I watched the game on TV. All right. I had the comma here. Sorry. Okay. Uh, okay. So you say, right? Yo no fui al estadio, pero vi el partido en la televisión. O aún así vi el partido en la televisión. Okay. So I didn't go to the stadium yet. I watched the game on TV. Yeah. So that's one example. Okay. Y en, en otras ocasiones, el jet, ¿qué significa? Aún. Aún. Like when ah. I say, for example, have you finished the homework? Not yet, uh -huh. you say. Not yet. Todavía no. Not yet. O aún no. Yeah. Todavía ah. o ah, aún. Se... In some cases. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. O sea, de que, ajá, así como usted dice, de que ya en esta, en esta conjunción ya es como que se traduce aún así. Aún así o pero. Uh -huh. oh, sí. Yes. Claro. Yeah, the thing is that in this case is a conjunction. Y cuando lo uso en la otra uh -huh. forma, 
Cuando quiero decir aún o todavía es un adverbio. It's different. Ah, ok. El, 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 how can I say it? El propósito gramatical es diferente. The grammatical purpose Ajá. is different. Ajá, porque aquí es una conjunción, conecta. Y en el otro caso, cuando digo aún o todavía, es un adverbio. It's an adverb. ¿Y qué, tan so común, okay. ¿Y qué tan común se usa esta conjunción? Porque a mí se me hace más fácil decir but. Exactly. It's, it's not very common, but, but in technical English ah. is common. En inglés más, como más técnico, más académico, Ajá. sí es bastante común. It's very common. Ah, ok. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ok, ahora sí ya. Ya lo entendí. Ahora, ahora sí está claro. <laughs> sí. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, All right, that's very good. That's very good, Michelle. So I don't know if do you have any other question? Eh, no, no solo esas eran las que tenía dudas. Ah, okay, perfect. Okay, so okay. thank you very much for connecting, Michelle. <laughs> gracias a usted. Teacher. All right, thank you and good night. Okay, see you tomorrow. Goodbye. Goodbye. Good night. Bye.